We're seventh in the league. We're on the verge of being fired. The fans are turning against us. I know we played Barcelona in the Champions League. Things are getting really, really sticky very quickly. Hello and welcome back to this Football Manager beta save. And I'm going to be honest, I was hoping that this was going to last the three seasons to take us to the full release date and sort of parks to glory. I don't think it is. I do think we are going to fall quite short. I've gone on holiday a lot because I just wanted to focus on the Champions League and things haven't gone that well. We've already lost three in the league. We lost one all last year and we've drawn far too many games on top of that. We are top of our group and a win against Barcelona does seal that completely. So going into this game, we have Alisson goal, Fabinho is right back, Henderson and Phillips are our centre backs because Van Dijk isn't fit and Gomez is out injured again. Robertson is our left back, Thiago and Casido is our midfield, Diaz, Musiela, Elliot and Evan are our forwards in this game. And we're needing a miracle. Like We have to win this game. And we haven't looked like winning a game in a very long time. So let's get into this and let's just hope for something better than what we've been doing. And I'm just hoping that Barcelona is are worse than what we are currently. And it's Gavi on the ball. Diaz trying to chase it and with Koundé. Koundé back to Ronald Arujo. Now it's with Eric. I forget his surname. And now it's with Testegan back to Arujo. And yet things just haven't gone well. And I don't know how much time the board are going to give me to turn this around. Great win back by Evan. Evan, he's breaking through and he's put it over. Yeah, I don't know how much longer the board are going to give me. We didn't really make any summer signings. We didn't really lose any massive players neither. Yet we are struggling to find any sort of form and now two more injuries to deal with and that's been the story of our season so far we are just so injury prone we've had injury after injury after injury and it's in by Robinson and it's back out to Marcus Leonardo plays it back to Henderson to Cassiedo Cassiedo to Fabino. Fabino, can he cross it in? No, and Frank De Jong has won it back, but Fabino wins it back again. The five at the back hasn't worked. Thiago to Casido, over to Darwin Nunes. Darwin puts it wide. And yeah, we've just been, we haven't, we won our first game of the season 11 2 against Norwich, and now Elliot's injured. We are in such dire straits. In terms of injuries, we're named at a bare bones, and we sent so many players out on loan to get first time uh, experience. And Darwin Nunes has scored, but I believe it will be ruled out for offside. And we we've just been in struggle town. Like we can't win games, we're drawing games, we're losing games. We're doing well when it was awarded, so that is brilliant for Darwin Nunes. Um, Leonardo just plays the ball over the top. Darwin brings it down. Pass to Sagan. Brilliant goal. But yet we are in so, so deep a trouble. Like, it is a case of when do the board say enough is enough. We're below Everton right now. I think we might actually be in eighth, not seventh. And yeah, we, <laughs> we need a, a win here and a win badly. Because at least this gets us through the group. And we can then focus on the next games. I haven't shown you any games up to now because I've decided that I want to show you more of the later stages. So in this video, you've got this group stage match. If we get through, you'll also have another group stage match as well. As I think this puts us through. So you'll also get a, another group stage match after this as well. Ansu Fassi on the ball. No, you won't get another group stage match, sorry. You'll also get Dest off the bar. You'll also get one after the January transfer window, if we get that far. Or because, well, literally, we could be sacked any week now. Instead, you'll be getting a new series for 
six days, I think it is, and we'll just be doing some fancy rebuilds and other little bits and bobs as well, because it just isn't worth me doing, overly doing too much um, with the six days left. But yeah, this has been a real, real wake up call. Um, if we get fired, I might see if I can't get another job by the end of the season and we'll take it from there. But yeah, this hasn't been the best and there's the equalizer by Pedri. This hasn't been the best uh, start for us. I had to do that too where I thought, oh, we're going to ace the league again. We're not going to have any issues, any worries, but we're just so injury prone. Um, I think we still, depending on the PSV Michelin match, I think either way we qualify because we've been PSG, PSV, sorry, twice. So I think either way we will qualify. Thiago throws the ball in and there is Nathaniel Phillips with his first goal of the season. Is that his first goal for the club? No, it's not. Phillips with an important equal, yeah, well, not equalizer. And Paul ahead is close 2 1 up on. No need to watch that. So if we get through, we'll be playing. I'm playing all the way through January and I'll show you the first leg of the um, round of 16, followed then by tomorrow, the second leg of the round of 16. And yeah, that's what we'll do. I want to focus more on this season and then maybe do one episode five years in the future rather than, you know, only show you the highlights of... 3-1, great from Nunes, and then only show you the highlights of the later stages, which are the more important, so we're going to show you this, the quarter, I keep saying quarter, the round of 16 first leg, tomorrow we run a 16 second leg, plus we make it through to the quarterfinals, we'll then be looking at the quarterfinal second leg, and the semi-final first leg, and then the semi-final second leg, and the final second, and the final second leg, the final as well, and that then I'll see the matter, see if we're going to do another season or not, whether we're going to leave it there, do a five years in the future episode, or whether I sim through the season and just show you any cup finals we're in, don't do a transfer special, anything like that, come back, do... Um, and do one or two videos, I'll work it all out because I am filming about today's day is 25th of October when I'm filming this. I am getting far ahead because I've got other business needs going on in the background as well. So I'm just using this time to get so far ahead of recordings so I can take some time off and focus on my other business. And yeah, so this has turned into a Great game for us. 93rd minute and Nunes has scored again. It, the window's going to be interesting if we get there. Like, if we don't get there, you'll see in this video because I've been sacked. But, yeah, it's we're qualified, which I think will appease the board, but we need to be doing something else in the league. So, I'll be back, hopefully, with the first leg of the quarterfinals or... Of the round of 16, I keep saying quarterfinals, or I'll be back looking for a new job. So, here we are, we're facing Ajax. We've got another injury crisis, which means we can't fill the bench. We brought in Theate from Rain, Reims, I think it was, um, for defensive cover. Not really working out, in truth. I have just simmed all the way to here, but we're still in charge. So, the team for today is Allison, Trent, Timber, Van Dijk, Robertson, Ciesudo, Bellingham, Musilea, Salah, Cavallo, and Evan up front. That is the team we're going to go with. It's against Ajax. I am expecting a win. Our form has been indifferent. But, hey, we haven't been fired yet, which is, I'd say, the main thing. And it is all about winning the Champions League this year. That's all the mads. Top four would just be a nice bonus for us. But I don't think we're going to get it, in truth. And Inter are playing Bayern and a 1 0 up. If Bayern can be knocked out, that does our cause so much good. And Salah with a free kick, and it's just curled round the post. And yeah, I'd say it's been, it was a tough window. Wasn't really much we could do, in truth. And we're now left in this position of, oh, we really need to start finding wins, but 
the team doesn't seem able to find wins because we just keep going through injury crisis after injury crisis after injury crisis after injury crisis. Uh, this year's football manager has been a lot more harsher for injuries. Last season, we barely had any injuries, really. And Roberto Firmino doing us a favour. He hasn't forgot last season. And, yeah, you know, it, we have definitely, definitely struggled our way to this point and you know I'm, I'm gonna probably change to a diamond to try and be a bit more defensively solid so we can play the likes of Fabinho and Henderson and just pray that our two up front can do something because look at this no shots on target at all so we are gonna switch now to the diamond I think and we're going to take Cavallo off, bring on Fabinho, Thiago can come on for Casillo, Salah can come off for Darwin Nunes and yeah that is what we're going to go with for the second half because we are just really 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 struggling at the minute we've had no shots on target whatsoever in this game and we're 60 minutes in like this is just not good enough the team's heads are everywhere right now and the ball is played in it is with Thiago Thiago what an odd animation that was what the hell was that that ball just absolutely zipped in the air like ball comes out Thiago outside of the force has just hit that in real life that does not going to win near the goal you cannot curl it out to curl it back in again that doesn't happen but we're 1-0 up our only shot on target and Spitz Jim plays it in and it's caught thankfully by Allison. and yeah we I don't know the, the mojo from last season well and truly is going to show us how crap Norwich are you know, we beat them 11-2 at the beginning of the season. But now it's Bellingham through to Nunes. Nunes slides at home. Offside flags up. think he was offside. But how we haven't been sat by the board as well on top of that really, really does shock me. But currently... Yeah, I thought it was offside. Currently, where... You know, if, if you get an easy draw all the way through to the semis... You stand a chance, but you have to avoid the likes of City, the likes of Bayern, and get your Ajaxes, you know, the easier teams to beat. Um, Robertson <sighs> loses the ball into Hannibal. He played it over the top for Berguis. Berguis through to Begwin. Begwin hits it off the post. And just get out there and control some of the ball. Uh, but yeah, game time for players is becoming harder to get and we are going to see it if the diamond works and the ball is over to Evan Evan now brings it down plays it into the box and it's back out and it's Darwin Nunes who hits it off the bar and yeah I, this season I haven't been able to solve the conundrum of what has gone wrong with the team the injuries just mount and mount and mount so we'll make that change now so, yeah, it has been a very odd season for us thus far. And we've still got more of it to go, potentially for being out tackled. Thiago Bellingham, Bellingham now back out to Robertson. Robertson's going to whip this in. And he doesn't whip it in at all, but it's out for a corner. And yeah, so next episode will be the second leg and the quarters if we make it that far. If not, that's the end of the season. And we will focus in on trying to do this next season in the final season. I think that's how we'll work it. There'll be no transfer special um for the next season and that's going to be the end of the episode hope you've enjoyed uh i'm slightly deflated because i can't figure out what's going on why we are so poor in the league um um yeah uh, please like share and subscribe as always hit the notification button and we will be back tomorrow for another episode hope you have a good day bye for now